Hello, my name is Willis Kamau and I'm Paris Kimani from Moa High School Birori. And today we are pre presenting our invention by the name Anti Sleep Vibrating Water Device. So, it came to great concern that most people are tending to have poor performances and also to have a decrease in grades in class due to sleeping in class and dozing off, which was something that we investigated and found out. So, this sleeping in class tells the student to lack concept taught by the teacher when he's sleeping. So, most of the people tend to socially address the issue and even prevent, to tell the student to prevent sleeping in class, but this doesn't work. So today, we came with a mechanical way of curbing sleeping in class, which tends to control the behavior of the students rather than socially addressing the issue. Now, the objective of our project was to come up with a device that will curb sleeping in class and also to introduce better sitting posture for the student while in class and also to investigate the minimum amount of force to keep the device going. The apparatus required are the switches, for example here, which are two, a source of power, which are two batteries from all cell phones, a vibrating motor, a logic gate made of two NPN transistors from old chargers, hence cleaning the environment, connecting wires. Now, to make the device, we used a wood chisel and a hammer to groove it and fix our and the, the circuit. Now, for the circuit to work, the two switches must be on, for example, like that. Then the circuit completes and the motor vibrates, causing a disturbance. While reading and doing the day-to-day -day activities, only one switch is on and there is no vibrating. And it's until the two switches are on that the motor vibrates. Hence, there is no disturbance during the day-to-day -day activities. For the backrest, we used springs, two backrests, and vibrating motor and a source of power and connecting wires. So we used wood glue to connect the springs to the backrest, vibrating motor, connecting wires to complete the circuit. Now, when the student sits and leans excessively, he completes the circuit and the motor vibrates causing a disturbance. Now this can be demonstrated when the student sleeps and has a long sitting posture while doing his activities and may tend to sleep. So he completes the circuit and the motor vibrates causing a disturbance and the student wakes up. Now, when the student tends to sleep using the backrest and leans excessively, he completes the circuit causing the motor to vibrate causing a disturbance. And now, when writing, there is no disturbance since only one switch is kept open and the motor does not vibrate. And it's until the both are pressed completing the circuit for the motor to vibrate. So, as my friend has explained here, this tends to encourage good sitting posture in class because when one writes, you need to write with only one hand. And when you raise the second hand here, you tend to bring sleeping in class. And this will make you lose content of what the teacher might be teaching us. So, we'd like to conclude that this device is efficient to curb sleeping in class and also to encourage good sitting posture and upright posture. Just use one hand, don't use two hands. And also, we like just to encourage people out there to come and also better our invention so that we can make no sleeping in class an effective issue and something not to discuss of. And also to encourage good sitting posture in class because it will tend the student to grab more concepts. Thank you.